For over 20 years, students from around the world have graced Canada with their presence. In London alone, more than 4,000 of them have built a new life away from their homes and families. And though some go back to their faraway countries after graduation, many, like Pepe, are determined to begin a new life here for good. I plan to stay here and look for a job and look for a guy and marry, yeah. <laughs> Pepe is Chinese. She came to London two years ago to study business. But she soon found a passion for food instead. Now she studies food and nutrition at Western University. Today, did you lose weight? Uh, I care about how many things uh, you eat in the four categories. So yeah, sometimes when I when I eat in, in the kitchen, I just look at this. So uh, yeah, it's better to have a deep mind of this. Baby says she doesn't miss home that much because she's always been an independent person. What she does feel is love and gratitude towards her parents for helping her pursue her dreams. Uh, most Chinese pe uh, parents they just want to want their child stay with stay with them, and but my parents they don't. They just want um, their children get a better future. Social media and other tools like Skype help her stay in touch with her parents. But between classes, midterms, and volunteering at Western's International Student Center, there's just no time to get sad. There are more than 2,600 international students in Western University from more than 110 countries. This means big bucks for Canada, which makes almost $8 billion annually in tuition costs alone. But the international experience is much more than just big bucks. Christina Lord is the International Program Coordinator at Brescia University College, an affiliate of Western University. She says the international experience is, in one word, essential. Because that sort of intercultural experience is, um, I think it's going to become more and more necessary because our world is more uh, globalization. It, it's not just about, you know, countries exporting and importing. It's, it's human resources, it's people back and forth. Education is Canada's 11th largest export. It's the single largest one to China. Lord says this is partly because degrees from Canadian universities open up a lot of opportunities back home. But for people like Pepe, Canadian culture is simply too fascinating to leave behind. Because I just, I don't need to care about other people, how they see me, and I don't need to care about their comments on me. I feel so free. Yeah, I got the real freedom. For Western News, I'm Fernando Arce.